To begin the disassembly of your iPod Touch second generation, you first need to use a metal spudger or a safe open pry tool to separate the frame of your iPod Touch from the back housing. Use the spudger to slightly bend open the back and you should be able to create a gap separating the actual frame which holds your touchscreen glass in place. Once you're able to slightly pry it open, go along the sides, unclipping the little brackets that hold the frame into place from the back assembly. Please note that you do not want to go ahead and pinch too hard inside because you can actually destroy your LCD or break it if you push your spudger or your safe open pry tool too hard against the insides. Please note that there is the touchscreen digitizer cable on the top left hand side. It is likely still connected to the board. If it is, just use your safe open pry tool to disconnect it from the board. It comes right off. Next, to separate the touchscreen glass from the frame, you will use a hot air heat gun to loosen up the adhesive holding your touchscreen glass to the frame. Please note, if you have bought the assembly, you can go ahead and skip this step. This step is only needed if you bought the touchscreen without the home button and frame pre-installed. Once adequate heat has been applied to your frame, you will use a safe open pry tool to slightly pry and separate your touchscreen glass digitizer from the frame assembly. If needed, apply extra heat to loosen up any adhesive that is hard to go ahead and separate. Once you are able to separate a small corner, you should be able to go around all the sides and separate all of the adhesive from the frame. Please note that your home button may actually come off. If it does, you will still need it, so do not throw away your home button. Once you have separated the glass from the frame, you can go ahead and apply new adhesive to the back of the actual digitizer and reapply it to your frame. For any iPod Touch products, please visit us at InjuredGadgets.com. Thank you.